bells of the lost city of Dunwich crumbled into the sea as heavy water rocked against its cliff-top coast. A breeze blows the arid dust off its precipice, grain by grain, onto the shingle below. The land and its paths are returned quietly to dust, sutured together only by the half-life heave. Size well grows from the neighbour land, nuclear cobwebs sprinkled upon the spiky gorse. The dome, oblique and watching over the marshes of Minsmere and its Averian colonies, hums gently to itself. Devastated dunes sidewind in the breeze, spectral like the lost port's imprint, brought down under waves in a delicate haze of foam and storm. The beach is terminal, a graveyard of memories and buildings made of cinder. A totem stands to a nuclear god. Lost city's cries haunt the coastline. Ruins of the monastery hanging onto a disintegrating land, as if the plant's fusion had already begun its binding. The Grey Friars fall out, in paradox, as an aleph of catastrophe. Life is reduced to ashen remnants underfoot, like the last grave waiting to join the rest of the town. A ruined warning of the lost future to come. wander from past to present, the dome lurking as it ticks away in the marrow grass. Voices echo in the forests and paths, whispering warnings of the same calamity to come. But the dome hums on. Future ghosts convene with voices lost under the waves, conspiring, planning for that final storm from which no man nor woman can find safe shelter. Dunwich, decrying its dose of flamed swell, lets the waves take its final crumbling remains. The sunken bells chime on, 
in unison with the metallic cathedral of the adjacent shore. A gesture of grievance for the dome's medicinal critical mass as its white light finally engulfs the last view of the horizon line. Trees turn to path, turn to path, turn to heath, turn to heath, turn to shingle, turn to shingle, turn to metal, turn to metal, turn to fission, turn to fission, turn to nothing, turn to nothing, turn to nothing. For there is heavy water on half-life heath.